Hey there, welcome back to the virtual table. Let's go ahead and keep going. <clears throat> we do have the two quests that we could make Mindy retire, but after that last mission where Mindy basically made the world a difference, why would we? <laughs> um, <clears throat> there's a couple prevailing thoughts here. The first one is maybe I should start going after some treasures, get some money so we can beef up these characters. Uh, another one, of course, is, uh, you know, that one gives you experience points. But we've been uh, sort of purposely holding off on, on the treasure ones because we wanted to get money once we had a more permanent party. I think we're getting close to that. Um, for example, if I wanted to do the summoner-only party, this Mark and Mindy is excellent, Lola. And then, of course, Starfire is one of my more favorite characters the last time I played. Right now, um, she's actually a little bit weak. Like, she's good, but she has no range attack, so there is some limitation with her. And when you have so many characters that are trying to go up to the front line, the bear, her, and even Mindy, they're all competing for the same real estate. And um, uh, the one thing with Mindy, though, is she has that, that seven movement point card and, and also the ability to fly, so she could just go right over them, right, and show up on the other end, which... That is very helpful, and if it wasn't for that, I you basically just get a big logjam between all the summons that come out here and uh, her. So, there's a lot of things I think we can do. Um, the other one, of course, is getting out the Sawbones guy, Grizzly Adams, and giving him a try. Uh, if we did, then maybe we would do these two missions here because we don't want Mindy to retire, for example. And that's an interesting idea as well. I don't know what the right one is. I mean, I part of me is like, let's get the Sawbones character out because like, we want to see how it plays. But I just don't know if it's going to go well because basically we're going to have one, two, three support characters and then, you know, one wonky one. Uh, but let's go and do some of these side quests. Uh, that's what my thoughts are. So let's do... This one actually looks like a tough one. But let's do it. Flame demons, who are nasty. The archers and guards and scouts. Yeah, that's not going to be a fun one. about what may be found in such an inhospitable place if you prepare for a difficult job. You learn to hear sudden sounds of large animal. Hey, it's the bear. Uh, see, we have the bear guy. Ooh. Of course. We're wounded. After a day of trekking through the foothills, you begin your ascent of the formidable volcano, praying with every step that this massive pot of boiling lava doesn't happen to start pouring out its contents while you're at the mouth of the spigot. The climb is thankfully short, however. Due to many areas of shallow, rocky terrain, you reach the peak, hoping you'll be able to find the cache easily. But instead, you're surprised to find a primitive group of Inox consorting with flame demons. They notice your presence as you crest the ridge. Amidst the heat and ash, you prepare for their attack. All right, so I don't like this one, um, especially since, you know, Mork is not really going to take a lot of damage. Take only long rests. Gain 13 or more experience. Cause a trap to be sprung or disarmed. Ooh, I don't have the disarm trap skill. We'll shoot for that. 
kill five or more, not possible. That one is. Loot no gold. Hmm. She could use the gold, but yeah, we'll, we're fine with that. Okay. One second. Coming back. <clears throat> all right. So we have to kill all enemies in all rooms. All mercenaries start wounded. Ah, uh, that's interesting. So that happened because of the bear, but it's also happening because of the scenario. <laughs> so the bear thing didn't hurt us. Uh, what do we got here? It looks like if we open this door, there's a room here and then another door and a room there. So we got some rooms to open, but that's fine because we also have the world's best rogue in the planet to do something about it. I am going to put her up and then the bear will go here. We can put the bear here. Okay, that works. Now, um... We have a lot of options here. Uh, we we do need to heal everybody to get rid of the wound. The bard will not be able to get rid of the wound for himself because the song helps everybody else, but it doesn't help the bard. So, for example, this heal oneself card is probably worth doing. Now, we did the retaliate card, which was very successful last time. The issue is you have all these archer types who may be shooting from much further away. Um, not always the case, but, you know, it might not be as helpful. Now, the other thing we could do is give ourselves plus one to all of our attacks, stuff like that. Um, the Retaliate is range two, which that part is awesome. But let's get the heal on. That's going to cause everybody else to remove their wound. And if I go first, then nobody else will take any damage. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And that's on the top. So then I need something on the bottom. Ugh. That one is range 3. I could do a singing arrow. Yeah, we'll do that. Although I do like doing the curses. Do I have anything else? Well, I could do this. It's not going to curse that many people, but it will give it'll bless all of us. That's that's worth doing. Let's bless everybody. Okay. Now we got this where I usually do the top, which blesses everybody. And then I do the bottom, which strengthens everybody. Um, I could... Does she have any heals on the bottom? She does not. So we'll go ahead and do both of those. Still got to heal this uh, bard somehow. So I'm thinking... Maybe a move three poison along with a burning oil and then the bear would right there I could heal all allies that'll heal the bard it gets rid of this which is unfortunate but just for the one round so that would be the bottom piece, and then the top piece... Are we going to summon the lizard? Sure, why wouldn't we? And let's get the bear in. Alright, I don't... We don't usually play with these characters very often, but... 
So that's a big attack, but it's melee only for these guys. And here you can see they're going to do a lot of range 3 attacks. And then these Vermlings, they do range attacks from time to time, but they also don't do range. Like, it, it's a mix, half and half. So yeah, I, here I go. I took the one damage. And we're going to put the heal song in place. And then we're going to go ahead and curse him. And the big thing is we're blessing everybody else. And... I could... Use my minor stamina here. I think I will. And we'll get that back. Alright, so now the Sun Keeper heals the wound. We're gonna bless everybody, so more blessings. Strengthen everybody. And I can get a card back if I wanted. I think I'm gonna wait. Alright, Tyrant. Heals. Let's get that bard healed. Let's get our vicious ally in play. And... If I remember correctly, this is the one character that doesn't... One, two, three, four, five... Yeah. Doesn't need to use this right away. Scoundrel. We can move three and poison this dude who has only one damage. Now let's attack somebody. We know these guys are gonna... Let's do the elite. He's close, but not quite. I could get both those cards back. I think I'm gonna wait. Boy, that retaliate would have really come in handy right now, wouldn't it? Okay. So, next thing I think I want to do is... Well, I'm using the bear here. The bear will probably kill that, so then I want to move forward. We could swap position of enemies and get one of these archers to come here, which, not a bad thing. Like, this guy's wounded, so he's going to die anyways. So let's do that. We're going to swap position of two enemies. Then for the top action, what are we going to have it do? Maybe do a forceful swipe. This here is a powerful card. They can it's basically like a large stamina potion. So I think I'm going to use this to help I'm gonna help the Beast Tyrant to get some cards back. So that would be a top action, and then I need a bottom action. And there's not many that are very helpful here. But I can do the move bless. One. And then I would love to get Retaliate in place, but it's going to take me two turns because i got to do this one next. And then I can Curse and Bless. Where's that at? Right here. 
that one is an amazing card. So we'll do that. And then here, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can get gruesome advantage. I'm going to move seven. I'm going to get that door open. And then we're going to pop someone in the mouth, one of these archers. <clears throat> yes. And I want to go... Do I really want to go at 62? Actually, yeah, I do. Alright, so Sue Singer. Look at this. One, two, three, four curse cards go in into the deck. And then we're going to be blessing everybody again. And we're going to get the ability to play a second card. And end the turn. Yeah, I have to. She only has one card discarded right now. We don't want to do this yet. Okay, I wanted to do this, but now I don't, because I need, I need, um, I need this thing to attack something. There's no traps. So we'll move it forward, and we get to push somebody. We'll push him. It doesn't matter, he's moving right back. And then we'll go ahead and do... Nope. All I can do is move him. Like, I can move him all the way up if we wanted. That would be interesting. Yeah, let's do that. And let's get the skeleton going. And turn... Archer. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need to heal after this. Okay, Sunkeeper. We're gonna let him get his cards back. That one. And that one. And then we're going to move here so we can finally attack somebody. And then we're going to bless the rogue. And then I'm going to use the minor stamina potion to get this card back. And the Sun Keeper's turn. They're drawing they're drawing the curses but they have this the advantage so yeah they're doing a lot of damage Oh boy, oh boy. Alright. Scoundrel, heal that poison. We're gonna move seven with flight. Get that door open. And. Ooh, I'm gonna take some damage. This may not have been the smartest thing to do. And then we're going to go ahead and light one of these guys up. We're going to add plus two to the attack. Plus this, and then get both of them. Uh. 
One's dead. The other's not. That's not bad. I'm gonna heal. Five. And the scoundrel turn. Six damage. <laughs> okay. The bear needs help so bad. So heal on the bottom. Attack. We're going to heal with this one where he attacks and heals. And then uh, with this one, we're going to give the bard some more cards back. And then move. And then with the bard, we can finally get retaliate in place on the top. And then on the bottom. We'll do call to action. Although, that means I don't want the bard to go first. Oh, dang it. So the bard goes first. There's nobody to call to action. That's the issue. We could just do singing arrow. That's fine. And then here, we're going to do stick to shadows. So we'll go invisible. That's very necessary. Because I got all these guys breathing down my neck. And... We'll do open wound. And we're going to go earlier. Okay. So let's get retaliate two in place. And we're going to go ahead and wound somebody. That was pretty good. Scoundrel will get some healing going. Let's punch somebody in the mouth. Let's take out the archer. And go invisible. Then we're going to use our major stamina potion. Get that open wound back. Plus, stick to the shadows. The same two cards. We're just going to get them back. And then we're going to get the major stamina potion back. Oh no! Look at that! I took a retaliate damage. So I got to burn a card. When do I burn? That one. That hurts. Alright, so... Apparently there's a retaliate action on these guys. That's not going to be fun. Um... That one has retaliate. These other two don't. So he uh, he attacked the one guy who has retaliate. That's so so bullcrap. It's not even funny. Oh, because he's elite. Well, we'll attack whichever ones don't have retaliate. I'm in trouble. I think I got overly aggressive here.
Oh my gosh, from that far away? I gotta at least take as much attention away from the bear as possible. That bear is not gonna survive with two damage. Okay, the scouts are not gonna do anything because they're just looting. I need those curse cards to come out big time. And yeah, they did not. That time it worked. I gotta burn another one. This hurts. Gotta heal. And then attack. And let's start getting some attacks in. Or I could even try to heal the bear. Oh gosh. That's the thing that um, stinks. Because I need to get some attacks in, but I think I have to heal the bear. Yeah, I do. And what am I going to do down here? I'm getting pretty far away from everything so I probably need to move forward strengthen all allies I can even attack one or I could yeah that disarm would actually be very helpful if I can move here I can disarm three maybe get these guys I don't know I could try to move four yeah I just don't know where to move to And then here, we're going to come out, gank them some more. And then go invisible again. Oh, come on. Come on. What the heck was he doing? Range 4 attack? I played this so totally wrong with the bear. Holy cow, are these guys just going nuts. These guys have Retaliate 3, if I were to do it. I could probably finish this thing off. Gonna poison and stun that guy. Skip movement, go invisible. Use my major stamina. Get my cards back. This is where the bear dies. This is where I die. Damn. 
That was early. Very, very dumb on my part. I thought I was being cute by moving the bear up. The thing is, the beast is going to get knocked out. Well, there's no point in uh, helping the bear anymore. I'm going to move all the way up here because I want to leave room for those summons, although I don't think they're going to be alive any longer because the rat bear is going to... Yeah, I can long rest. i got to take a break real quick. One right back. Okay. I guess we'll long rest. That'll give us one more round for our allies to do something, but that's all I'm going to get, and then he's going to go belly up. As for her, we can get a nice attack in. And maybe some kind of move. I need to move forward. And then let's curse some people. And we'll do that. He's got retaliate on. But that's okay. We'll kill him. Gonna move the soothsayer up. these two. Use major stamina. Get those cards back. Five. We're gonna wound him too. I feel like I need to move forward.
That was really good. Skeleton's not gonna get anything in. Alright, so I'm going to go as late as possible and I guess we're going to move. Got all these guys to deal with. I mean, I probably could even do this right now because there's only one guy to attack. I could probably move forward, get some gold. Yeah, the problem... Ah, uh, come on. What do I move forward with? There's a part of me that's like, okay, look at this one. I can do an attack four. I can have this one do the attack. And then for my top action, I guess I can curse. But see, that's an 85. I'm going to go way too late. That doesn't work. Yep, it just doesn't work. Alright, so I can move, but I don't know where to move to. Like, do I move backwards and let these guys come towards me? There's a part of me that's saying yes. It's like I can move to there. Because I gotta have to rest next round anyways. And then, yeah, with the bard, I can move forward, but then what am I doing? I'm going to go ahead and skip the movement. We'll bless this one. Use this. Get some cards back. Scoundrel. Heal. Alright, we're going to wound the guy with all the armor. Then we're going to move five. And I'm going to come back here and get some gold. And there we go. Next round. So we can long rest, long rest, and one, two, three, four away. I'm going to do this because we're going to bless the two characters that's with me. Let's see if we can curse them. And you know what? I can make it go later. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go later. 
Let's see how this plays out. This guy's not going to do anything. This card just got a whole lot better, because look, I'm cursing both of them. And I'm blessing. And now I'm going to curse both of them. Again, so I just put four curse cards in their deck. Scoundrel. I don't know which card to get rid of here. I need all of them. These bow cards with the wound are, are good, because if I'm not next to somebody, I guess that's the one I don't need. It's hard to get rid of, but sure. And of course, we're healing up here. There should be a lot of cards that she doesn't need. Sure. Alright, round eight. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like I can get all the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So I can get to about here, which is near the door, so I can go open the next door. Because we've got one more room we gotta do, uh, and we have to kill all the enemies. So. I don't have as many stamina potions, so I can't be quite as nifty as I was last time. But in doing this, I am leaving the other two characters to take care of one, two, three, four enemies, and that's not always the best thing to do. But I'm going to go ahead and do a move seven, and then we're going to attack something, like with a bow, range three, so we'll get to the other side of them, and then wound them. Now. The only disadvantage here is I'm going really late. So I don't know what that's going to do. But you know what? I could always bow them before I move. I guess, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Alright, I don't want to pick up gold with this character, but I do need to burn or death kill. And these both have retaliate, which makes them annoying. So the only thing that's really good at, against them is actually range attack, which is the one thing this character doesn't have. We got fire. So I can do this to move 3 1. That'll get me a little bit closer to them. And then do like a attack 5 on one of them. And then the bard here is down to the final two actions. These guys are going to just shield and retaliate, which makes it even worse because I think their retaliate is going to get even more obnoxious. So it's three, but I think it's going to be retaliate five now. Part of me is just like, let's go just, just go kill this guy. Can I do it, though? He's got four shields. I would do one damage unless I get a doubler or something. And that's gold. That would hurt me, too. So I don't want to get gold, but I will move forward as far as I can. Shield. And yeah, I'm going to get a Retaliate 5. Let's go ahead and wound this guy. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. So this is a great card, but we're going to take more damage. I'm going to take five damage, retaliate again. Even with the doubler. Even with the butt doubler, that hurt. Skip the attack, but we'll bless her. I'm going to wound this guy, since he has all these retaliates. And then we'll move seven. I can... Yeah, I'll move seven. And get out to here. And I'm actually invisible, which is funny. So now... I can move... Five... And we'll use our bow for whatever we happen to open here. These guys still have Retaliate 3. I'm very damaged. So I think I need to just heal myself. Because I don't want to get into the situation of the bear. And then I may start burning cards because... I just need to get stuff killed, and this is a range attack. The only one she has, so I can do a range attack, and it'll burn the card, but I can at least try to damage that guy. And they're doing range, and they're doing two targets. Oh. Alright, so I could wound this one with the bow. But I'm going to go ahead and open this. One, two, three, four. And then I'm even going to back... Look at that. Two more fire elementals. Jeez Louise. And then we got to hit somebody. This one's the perfect target. And the scoundrel turn. All right, I'm going to heal myself. Attack 5, range 2. And that hurt. Oh no, I don't want to burn that one. Okay, so I can stick to the shadows. Nobody's next to me though. Oh, well, I can move and go invisible, but can I attack after I do that? Oh, you know what? I could just heal myself. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll heal myself and then stick to the shadows. And I'm still in trouble here, but this guy's as good as dead. So I just need to kill this one, and there's gold everywhere.
That's my issue. <clears throat> I need to kill that archer, but there's all this gold piles here, and I have loot no gold. I mean, how important is it to do this mission? <laughs> I mean, it's sort of important. I got this move four, so I can move one, two, but see, I would end up stepping on that. The other thing I could do is just move really far back here and make that archer come into the room. <clears throat> That's something I could do. Yeah, I actually have a plan. I'm going to move four, and then we'll do this and help the bard get some cards back. And then we need to heal. Is there anything I can do to heal my buddy here? And there isn't. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I need to go earlier. Flame Demon's going super early. He's doing nothing. Look, the archer is going to go right before I go. One point before. I'm going to have to burn a card. That's going to do two damage to me. Why would I do that? You got to step on that trap. And this other one is going to hit me. Yep, I have to burn a card. That screws up my uh, rounds too. Oh, come on. I needed to go before her. Oh, I screwed up. He has no cards to recover.
get some gold. This is where it's getting interesting. I think I need to short rest, but the long rest would get me a lot of items back, including my flying armor, my flying boots, which I need to go get that treasure chest. Such a dangerous thing to do, and I can't move, so I might as well long rest. Um, definitely gonna long rest with her. And I'm stuck resting with this one too. I'm resting with everybody. I mean, if there was anything for these guys to do, so far this has been working out perfectly. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven would get me one space away. I can probably even grab some gold while I'm at it. And then I can use burning oil. I want to hit this sucker right here. Get him wounded because he has five health and it may take that many turns to kill him, but we can at least have him taking damage every round. And then for this one, I'm going to get some moving going on. So one, two, three, and then maybe even some more after that. The other thing is, is like, this does two damage. So I could like, hit him, and then suck him over these two coals. Um, because I do have a pull ability. So if I wanted to stay here and not do this yet, I could do, for example, this pull to range three and knock him over some some traps. But I don't think I want to do that. So then the real question becomes if I if I'm over here, I'm assuming that because I'm closer, these guys would actually run back into this room. Not sure how much I really want that, but it does allow these two to heal and whatnot. So what am I doing here? I think I want to move four. And one, two, three, four. Let's go as late as possible. Let's move four and curse. There's three of them. I can handle that. I'm immobilized. No, I just lost my card.
my move seven card is gone because I'm immobilized. Can't do it. I can do this though, and I'm not going to hit the target I wanted to hit. Yeah. I lost that card. That hurts. Move four. I can add two more. And go like there. Okay, so my issue is, <clears throat> I lost my, I mean, I still have a move five I can do, but I gotta get there the harder way now. I can still do the pull to range three, and I think now's the time to do that. And then I can, on the top side, use my bow. Let's wound somebody else. I can move three, shield one. And then murder, death, kill. And here I want to curse three, bless three. Yeah. I don't know if I want to take all that damage. But see, attacking this guy is not worth it. It's this one I need to attack. Dang it. I'm down to just one one guy to kill. Alright. I need to get on the other side of him. One, two, three, four. Uh, I can get to five and then I'm three away. And I got the same problem. I got gold everywhere and I need to figure out how to kill this thing. I made it this far without picking up gold. My issue is all three of these faces have gold. So the other thing I can do is instead of trying to move five, I'm just going to move two to pick up that gold. It doesn't help. I'm only going to get to there, but I still pick up some gold, I guess. 
Dang it, I needed to get... <sighs> See, my attack doesn't do anything. I'm gonna draw a new one. Oh no, I lost the move seven. Oh come on. That was the one card I didn't want to lose. Ah, oh, you jerk. Alright, move five. Burning oil. I did want to keep this so I could do a four damage attack against him, but uh on rest. Ooh, a three pierce? Oh my gosh, I killed him! Well, we might as well get some gold. So we won, even though the bear got annihilated in our early game. We didn't get that treasure chest, though. That stinks. Because that treasure chest, I think, is where the... Everybody got their kung fu fighting. The 13 experience is really difficult to do. Yeah, that's really nice. 15 gold each, 10 experience each. And then we got, I mean, how is there a minus two here and a minus one? We removed a minus two card. This shouldn't be here. There's a bug going on. Oh, I'm sorry, it was removed. There's nothing there. There's no dots. Uh, I'm having a brain fart. So, the thing is, the bard doesn't attack very much. What a beautiful combat deck this is, though. <laughs> if it ever did. Can you imagine a melee character with a combat deck that looked like this? 
I probably say that all the time. Now the sun catcher, these have been nice. There's a lot of niceness going on here. Um, shield self isn't the worst thing in the world. The stun card is nice. Yeah, we'll add that one. And then they have some decent gold, everybody. Let's see if we can get them better pay. All right. Puts us to six out of seven. Okay, uh, this is all I have the time for tonight. Got to get to work tomorrow. But um, that wasn't bad. My only regret is we didn't get that chest. Uh, I mean, the fact that we won, given this situation, was pretty impressive, but we never got that chest, whatever it is, and I could always replay the quest. It was beatable. I just got to be a little more careful with my bear. Anyways, as always, thank you for watching. Stay awesome.